Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy CV Tech One coming at you live and direct once again with another reaction video. This time we're gonna react to Messi versus Cristiano Ronaldo. Who is the GOAT? Or maybe this is just a GOAT conversation because you know both of these guys got their own fans and this conversation could go on forever. So but we're gonna watch this video and react to it. And the reason this is my first football video is because World Cup is right around the corner. So I figured my juices are flowing. I'm excited. I can't wait for World Cup this year. Why not start off our first reaction to football, a sport that I love and played since I was a kid. Why not be Messi and Ronaldo? Let's check it out. Since the Let's beginning of the century, the world of football has been blessed with two of the greatest who have ever played. They've dominated trophies, statistics, thus debates. Although it's hard to decide who's better, by the end of this video, one guy will have the edge. This is the definitive comparison of Messi and Ronaldo. Argentina versus Portugal. Let's do it. To find who's the better player, we'll examine four different criteria. Winning, statistics, awards, and the eye test. Wait a second, man. The first one is winning. That's a little bit tough, man, because this is a sport that's played with so many other players. It's a team sport. Even in basketball, you can kind of take over a game. When it comes to football, it's a little bit tough. If you have a great midfield, you can take over a game and you can become one of the GOATs, but you got to have a good midfield. Individually, you still got to be great. I've played the sport and I played midfield and I've made some guys look good. All they have to do is just finish. I I'm just saying. Keeping it, I'm keeping it a buck here. We'll see. We'll watch and see what, what the difference uh, is between the two guys. First off, who has won the most? Winning can't make you the greatest, but it can make you one of the greats. Simply put, winning six Champions League titles like Paolo Maldini will not make you the greatest, but sure a notable figure. With this in mind, sure. three sub points will be awarded in accordance with their three common competitions. European, domestic, and international. Beginning with European, the most prestigious trophy in clubs is the UEFA Champions League title. Ronaldo has won it five times, whereas Messi has won it four times. While this is the official count, we commonly subtract one from Messi since he only started two games of his first official victory. Conversely, okay. Ronaldo's five titles came in his presence, and he won them on two different teams. That's one sub point for Ronaldo. Advancing into domestic titles, Messi has won more league titles more domestic cups, and more domestic super cups. Hence, there goes one for Messi. Wait a second. Yeah, Messi won more league, but you have to understand, I think there's a big difference between the league Messi played in and where Cristiano Ronaldo played in uh, EPL versus La Liga. I think La Liga has four, maybe five good teams. That's just in my opinion. And I think if you go to EPL, you can actually go from 1 to 20. What, you get two teams in the second division? That's still good. So you're looking at 22 teams. That's actually pretty good. The competition EPL is a little bit better than La Liga. I'm just saying. Lastly, the international numbers. Starting with Messi, let's just say both he's bad. a little unfortunate. However, it didn't start out that way. He began his journey by winning the 2005 Under-20 World Cup. He followed by a gold medal at the 08 Olympics. But ultimately... His lack of performance at the 2010 World Cup hurt him. Yes. He did individually wield Argentina to the finals of the 2014 World Cup, but fell short in extra time against one of the best sides in recent history. He lost again at the 2018 World Cup in the hands of the soon-to-be champions by a score of 4-3. At South America's Continental Tournament, the Copa America, he has never won. In his four presents, he's gone to the finals two times. In each one of these, he lost in penalties. He should win a few of uh, Copa America. You're not going against the greatest team. Look, listen, Uruguay is great. You have Brazil, Chile, but come on. It is Messi at the end of the day. It's Messi, it's Di Maria. They should, Messi should have got a few of those. On the other hand, Ronaldo has won two major trophies, the 2016 Euros and the 2019 Nations League. Even though he didn't win a single game in regular time at the 2016 Euros, the mere fact that Portugal won this tournament is enough to give him a point. According to betting websites, Portugal's odds of winning were 20 to 1 at the start. 
That's one point for Ronaldo, which makes him the winner of my first criterion, winning. Yeah, that was kind of like really quick. I don't know about that, man. But I will say both of these guys, I, th I don't think they had the greatest international careers, really. But Cristiano Ronaldo has scored plenty of goals and he leads in that so but i you know but it's not easy as individual to go and just win a world cup it, it's not uh, you got to have a team top to bottom so and that's what i was talking about you got to have a especially a good midfielder man. a great midfielder on top of that especially ronaldo plays a forward uh messi you know they both go forward and they come back so they can play the mid a little bit but still My second criterion is statistics and advanced metrics. This part is divided by scoring and shooting, assist and shot creation, and impact on the team's performance. Beginning with scoring and shooting, we notice that Ronaldo has more career goals, but he also played more games. And if we take away penalty goals, Messi already surpassed Ronaldo in 2018. Looking further into it, we find that Messi has a higher average goals per game. A common remark regarding their averages is that Ronaldo started his career in a tougher league, being the Premier League. In spite of that, if we only consider the average goals per game in the Champions League, Messi still comes out on top. Mm. His goals are also more efficient, meaning he scores them on less attempted shots per game. That brings us to accuracy metrics and yes, Messi has a higher shot on target percentage which is impressive considering his attempts come in farther from the goal as can be shown by his number of goals outside the box. Furthermore, Messi has a better conversion from just about anywhere on the field. As for free kicks, they share the same number of free kick goals, but percentages and distance tell a different mm. story. Messi has close to twice Ronaldo's free kick conversion and his attempts come in farther than Ronaldo. Also, their path to that number is very different. At the start of his career, Messi was without a doubt a poor free kick shooter. But recently, Messi seems to have become the best free kick shooter ever. No he trending good, lines man. could have predicted these latest numbers. He just flipped the switch. Okay, I just wanted to look at the names. I just want to say though, like, if you do take Ronaldo's penalty kicks, like, you, you gotta wonder, like, did he create those penalty kicks? Was it another player and he just takes it? Same thing with Messi when it comes to free kicks. Did he create those chances? Does that even matter, right? Somebody created that chance. They got the free kick. Messi kicks and scores. So those things are kind of like, it's so weird to, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's weird for me because I played the game, you know, to judge it based on those things because it depends who created those chances. I think that's, that's a big deal. If you take the penalties away that he didn't create, I guess you, that's different, but the ones that he created, and I'm talking about Ronaldo, then that should count. But, but that's just me. In sum, regarding scoring and shooting, even though Ronaldo is frequently referred as the better shooter or finisher, Messi has the highest average goals per game on less attempted shots, he has a better conversion from everywhere, and he's the better free kick shooter. The only metric in Ronaldo's favor is his penalty conversion. Inevitably, okay. Messi has one point. Hmm. Okay. We'll go with that. For assists and shot creation, Messi has the most assists per 90 minutes. In contrast to popular beliefs, Ronaldo has some incredible numbers, but in assists, Messi is second to none as he holds the highest career assist total. Okay, now you see where it says Xavi, Di Maria, Suarez, Ronaldo, and Messi. Highest career assist uh, totals. Now here's a funny thing about this that I'm looking at right now. Messi played with Xavi, a midfielder. And that's what I said. If you got a good midfielder, you can get set up. And I know that he, uh, Messi still has more assist. But out of the 230 assists that Xavi has, and also Di Maria, who plays for Argentina along with Messi, and also Suarez, who played with Messi. Like, you know, those are the things that I'm talking It's so hard to judge it because he's got one, two, three players on this list that played with Messi. So, I, I don't know, man. Shout out to Ozil, man. Ozil, that's, uh, that's Arsenal right there. Shout out to Arsenal. That's my squad. For possession and dribbling, although dribble stats only exist since 2017, Messi has always been first in every major category. Carries. Total distance total progressive distance, carries that enter the last third of the pitch, carries that enter the box, and what I'll refer as the Messi stat, the number of players dribble past. 
So yeah. his dribbling and passing abilities help Messi create shot options for his teammates. So of course he's going to be better than Ronaldo in goal creating actions per 90 minutes. By the way, he also played with Ronaldinho, right? But I'd like to point out that Messi doesn't have the highest score here. That feat belongs to Neymar. Similarly, that's the other guy he plays with right now. An interesting stat word of showing is expected goals. An expected goal would be a penalty or a tap in. An unexpected goal would be a free kick or a 20 yard carry. Thus, we measure the number of goals over the number of expected goals. Subsequently, there are some players who have negative expected goals. That would mean that they didn't capitalize on wide open nets, for example. This is so weird to judge off note, though. Messi has by far the better goal over expected goals per 90 minutes. Briefly, being the better passer, dribbler and playmaker, Messi takes home this point. That's a tough one for me to like. It's so hard As to for judge the these on though. The team's performance, we measure it in a statistic called team success on off. This okay. metric works by taking the number of goals scored per 90 minutes while the player is on the pitch minus the number of goals scored per 90 minutes while the player is off the pitch. As a I result, mean, Messi is at 0.75 while Ronaldo is at 0.60. Do they come off In the other field words, unless they're injured? When Messi is on the pitch, there are 0.75 more goals being scored. Okay. Nonetheless, this metric is only available since 2014. If anything, Messi is the winner again. Wait, what, what? Why would you have that as a metric then? Like, you should have just threw that out the window. I'm telling you, it is so hard when it comes to football to, to have it such a good list to compare. To me, it's just eye test and, and goals, man. Uh, yeah, you can go with the wins, like I said, but there's so much that goes into it. You know, it's, it, it's hard, man. In 2019, a Belgian university by the name of KU Loven published a study titled Actions Speak Louder Than Goals. In this <laughs> document, the university describes assessing the impact of metrics via machine learning in a plethora of data. Their metrics compile passes by distance, dribble by distance, shots by distance, free kicks by distance, penalties, penalties provoke, interceptions, clearances, crosses, fouls, tackles, corners, and many more. There are also other components such as the game state, which calculates the value of an action based on There's the difficulty so much. of scoring or defending in a game. All of these metrics are unified by the label Soccer Player Action Description Language, or And are they SPA playing from behind? Or Thereby, those all when make we multiply those the are, number of actions per 90 minutes and the those average value think per about. actions, we get the ultimate number, the VAEP. Unfortunately, players' VAEP have only been calculated for the study's preceding year, which is the 2017-18 season. That said, Ronaldo has a VAEP of 0.61, but Messi has nearly twice that at 1.21. As you can see on the board, Messi is not here right now. Now he is. Okay. Although this was a sample of one single season, that won't be a problem since Messi placed fifth in the Ballon d'Or votes. That was his worst position since 2006, where he was 19 years of age. It's not that Ronaldo's bad, Messi's just really good, and if there's a way to evaluate actions on a pitch, he will tower over everybody else. As for the okay. VAEP, it wasn't maintained for three different reasons. It's too long, too complicated, and too expensive. Okay. Until there's an too advanced optical reading software that can read the pitch, 2017-18 will remain the best season for stats and we know who's at the top. In a few words, as far as stats go, Messi takes another one home. Yeah, but but he literally, you go back to 2018, you use this metric. Then you went back to 2014, you use this metric. Like, like you're going in times and you're picking and like, I don't, I don't know, man. It's kind of weird. Also, but okay, if statistics I'll go with is the only thing that matters, Messi is not only the greatest player of all time, but the greatest that ever will be. There will probably never be a statistical anomaly like Messi ever again. Okay. As for awards and, and honors... Whether Messi or Ronaldo ends up winning this one, they are by far the two most individually decorated footballers of all time. With this I agree in mind, with that. in individual awards, most websites only consider three of them. The FIFA Best, the European Golden Boot, and the Ballon d'Or. Summing these okay. up would tell you that Messi has the edge, but with 13 and 14 awards, they are both lonely at the top. 
Starting with the Golden Boot, which rewards Europe's top goalscorer, Messi has 6 while Ronaldo has 4. As for the FIFA best, the count is 4 to 3 in the favor of Ronaldo. Yeah. For the FIFA Pro World 11, or the team of the year as FIFA puts it, they both share an outstanding 14 appearance. Two midfielders in the front right there next to Xavi Alonso. Those, are, those two guys right there are, are two of the best. And I mean two of the best midfielders that's ever played the game, in my opinion. I watched them play. Body-wise, it's tiny, but they're quick, but they're smart. Uh, Iniesta and Xavi, one, two, two greatest midfielders, at least for me. And they played in the same team as uh, Messi. I'm just saying. Or the team of the year, as FIFA puts it, they both share an outstanding 14 appearances. Ronaldo was awarded the IFFHS top goalscorer of the decade, while Messi was awarded the best playmaker of the decade and the best player of the decade. Messi mm. has won the FIFA World Cup Golden Ball in 2014, which rewards the best player in the World Cup. Ronaldo has won the Ons Doll two times, while Messi has won it four times. That being said, the most prestigious individual honor is the Ballon d'Or. As a result, Messi has the six, ballon. while Ronaldo has five. Interestingly, when Messi won his sixth Ballon d'Or separating himself from Ronaldo, it was the first time that he ever acknowledged his competitiveness with Ronaldo, saying, When Cristiano Ronaldo pulled level with me, I'll admit that it hurt a little as I was no longer alone at the top. But at that moment, he deserved a Ballon d'Or and I couldn't do much more about it. As for the awards criteria, Messi wins another one. The eye test is what I would define as the best player to watch. Seeing Ronaldo is something special. He's athletic, See? quick, and one of the better finishers. He can Look also use his head unlike Messi. A thing that your eyes will tell you, it's which crazy, you won't just find said it. Numbers, That's is crazy. that Ronaldo was probably a better player with Manchester United. Indeed, his mm -hmm. numbers weren't as good as afterwards, but he was scoring more free kicks, he dribbled a little better, he scored outside the box more frequently, he was a more skilled player all around. Yet, his totals at Man United pale compared to his at Real Madrid and Juventus. The reason why would that be can also be found in the ITS. The Look fact of that. the matter is, is that Ronaldo was better surrounded in Real Madrid and Juventus. There, a high rate of his goals came via tap-in, which is the type of goals that you didn't see him score very often with the Reds. That's nothing against him. Some tap-ins require a great deal of skills, even if they're not as enjoyable to watch. He's still got to finish. So, but that's my point. Okay, he's, he's, so he's tapping into that. And I think teams make a big difference. And that's why I kept saying, if you got a good midfield, you got a good chance want to, be the, to be one of the greatest if you just naturally gift it anyway. It helps. Because look what Cristiano Ronaldo is in this video right now. Right? Dead center by himself. He's on side. He's making sure he's on side. But you got to have a player that sees that. When to pass it. You know what I mean? Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. There it is. The unpleasant side in Ronaldo's games lies in his volume of shots. As established before, compared to Messi, he has a lesser average goals per game while having the higher attempted shots per game. Sometimes gotta, he makes you, you wonder take it. if his presence can hurt a possession. You gotta take the shot. Messi gets you the best play possible for every possession. His mission is to have the ball in the goal by the end of the sequence regardless of his implication. When he was somewhat of a striker in 2012, he scored an all-time record of 91 goals for the year. When he was a midfielder in 2019, he racked up an all-time record of 21 assists for a season. He is a purely positionless and selfless offensive player. Ronaldo can conclude great plays. Messi creates his own and remains the better finisher of the two. He's, he's a better creator. Even though they have a close percentage in successful dribbles, seeing Not them play close. will reveal you that Messi is much more venturous with the ball. As you can see here, Messi takes the ball behind midfield. He dribbles through one, two, Still with the ball. Three and four. He enters the last third of the pitch and makes a perfect pass to his teammate. Yep. Highlights He's a possession that, player. And basic stats cannot count this action. As dominant as Messi is in statistics, numbers don't really do him justice. If Messi dribbled like everybody else, he would simply never lose the ball. Or as Ray Hudson puts it. How do you put statistics on this, Phil? 
This isn't measurable because this is the art of human. Hey, Ray Hudson is one of the best. I mean, one of the best commentators out there. Like that guy knows how to put on a show as he's watching players like Messi play. Shout out to Ray, man. Actions like this are the reason why Messi has the higher career average match rating and likewise the highest since the metrics inception. This is also okay. why Messi has the highest number of men of the match and incidentally, the most since the metrics inception. In the end, that tug of war is won by Messi. Ronaldo is undoubtedly one of the greatest to ever lace up. Messi is just that Asian kid that's always better than you. He's what? Kid that's Messi is just that Asian kid that's always better than you. Did he just say he's that Asian kid who's better than you? Uh, what, what the hell does that even mean? I'm not even going to go there. I'm not going to touch that one. <laughs> what? <laughs> Although it won't affect the scoreboard, I think it's the appropriate video to talk about the people's opinion on the topic. In the light of this video, I made a list of every known players, managers, owners, and commentators who expressed their side on the Messi Ronaldo debate. Here's all the people I've found. Yeah. Now, in all 141 personalities, 110 voted for Messi and 31 for Ronaldo. That is, if we account everybody mentioned. If we subtract the ones who played or coached one or the other to erase any possible conflict of interest, it's now 89 to 10. As for the public, the largest poll on the internet is found on the Messi vs. Ronaldo website, accounting for more than 1 million voices. Messi has 655,000 of them, while Ronaldo has 360,000. In other words, it's 65% to 35%. To finish, as I have the word GOAT in the title, some of you are probably irritated, mainly because of two greats, Pele and Maradona. On that account, how do Messi and Ronaldo compare to them? Let's see. Mm. Starting off with Maradona, both Messi and Ronaldo have better stats than him all across the board. In fact, they both have more than twice Maradona's goals total. That being said, when Maradona carried his team to a World Cup win, he seemed to be the greatest ever. But he didn't maintain that level of playing outside the World Cup. You can see here that Maradona doesn't really rival Messi and Ronaldo's goals per 90 minutes. Stats don't really put Maradona in the debate. He was more of a showman, just like Ronaldinho for a more recent example. And as for his longevity, how much can we blame Flower? In my eyes, Flower. <clears throat> His career totals are simply insufficient. Conversely, with Pele, I'll start by saying this. In the years Pele to come, some goals. as sports hold more history, GOAT debates will shift from the best player ever to the best player relative to his peers. Nowadays, of course players run faster, jump higher, shoot better. Is Messi a better player than Pele ever was? Probably. But if the GOAT debate is about the most dominating player respective to his era, we have a debate. Three World Cups are hard to come by in any era. As for Tough. their stats, at least the one they share, they're pretty similar. But in recent history, Pele has made a fool of himself. For over 40 years, Pele held the record for the most goals total and the most goals total for one club. In a span of two 600? weeks, Messi broke one and Ronaldo the other. In the light of these achievements, Pele, with the help of his former club Santos, released a statement saying that his club total at Santos was actually in four figures, at 1,091 goals. I thought it was like six. He also updated his Instagram bio saying that his goals total stands at 1,283. <laughs> He's scoring every week. <laughs> the thing is that 526 goals of that number would have come from unofficial friendlies and tour games. Funny enough, he even counted games he played in a military competition. In the eyes of the level-minded, Pele has 644 for a single club and 757 yeah. for a career. I've always known he is that. great, but not unreachable. Thank you for making it till the end. I'm definitely gonna click a like. Uh, you did some good work. 
I just think it's, you know, some of the criteria is like, it's so hard, man. Um, Cause I think I truly believe having a good team, you know, it helps, but that's not part of the criteria. And if you do that, then you just be all over the place. So he did, this person did the best that they could as a player. It's hard for me to think of those criteria. Cause I played the game. I know there's things that, you know, that goes into the game that you can't, you can't put on paper. Uh, just like when Messi dribbles the ball and he get, he gets around five, six guys, you don't see that on paper. Right. And then once he gets around six guys and he makes a, 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 a clean pass to an open player and that player gets an assist or scores, it doesn't go on paper. You don't see that. So I understand that part of it. Personally, for me, which one would I take? I would take Messi just because Messi is a is a hybrid he's like a full uh midfielder forward midfielder slash forward Messi can also create right Messi can dribble for long periods of time he can get by defenders because he's so fast he's good with the ball on his feet and um yeah i would take Messi just because of those but i in my opinion i think la liga which Messi played in versus epl where ronaldo played and he's currently playing there now but he also went to Serie A, which is also a tough league. And I do understand that he played also in, in La Liga. But I think those things make a difference for me. The team you played with, the players you played with, also the league you played in. Those make a difference. But maybe I'm just being picky, but I love the sport so much. So to me, it's not like me reacting to a basketball game or a basketball player where I love basketball. But football is football is me, man. So I got to look at it all kinds of ways. So I don't know. You guys tell me what you guys uh, think of Messi, Ronaldo, who you got as the GOAT between the two. Not GOAT as better than Pele or Ronaldinho or, you know, other players. But I'm saying between those two, I go Messi. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. If you want me to react to more football videos, please let me know. Maybe Roberto Carlos. That's one of my favorite player of all time, even though I was a midfielder. But I love Roberto Carlos. I'm just throwing that out there. Maybe we can do a reaction to Roberto Carlos. And we'll go from there. Till next time. Peace.